Shira's math test included a survey question asking how many hours students had spent studying for the test. The graph below shows the relationship between how many hours students spent studying and their score on the test. Shira drew the line below to show the trend in the data. Assuming the line is correct, what does the line slope of 15 mean? So let's see. The horizontal axis is time studying in hours. Vertical axis is scores on the test. And each of these blue dots represent the time and the score for a given student. So this student right over here spent, I don't know, it looks like they spent about 0.6 hours studying and they didn't do too well on the exam. They looked like they got below a 45, looks like a 43 or 44 on the exam. This student over here spent almost four and a half hours studying and got, looks like a 94, 90, close to a 95 on the exam. And what Shira did is try to draw a line that tries to fit this data. It seems like it does a pretty good job of getting, of, of at least showing the trend in the data. Now, slope of 15 means that if I'm on the line, so let's say I'm here, and if I increase in the horizontal direction by one, so there I inter increase by the horizontal direction by one, I should be increasing in the vertical direction by 15. And you see that. If we increase by one hour here, we increase by 15% on the test. Now, what that means is that the trend it shows is that in general along this trend, if someone studies an extra hour, then if we're going with that trend, then hey, you know, it seems reasonable that they might expect to see a 15% gain on their test. Now, let's see which of these are consistent. In general, students who didn't study at all got scores of about 15 on the test. Well, let's see. This is this is neither true, we don't see that these are the people who didn't study at all and they didn't get 15 on the test, and that's definitely not what this 15 implies. This doesn't say what the, what the people who didn't study at all get. So this one is not true. That one is not true. If Let's try this one. If one student studied for one hour more than another student, the student who studied more got exactly 15 more points on the test. Well, this is getting closer to the spirit of what the slope means, but this word exactly is what, at least in my mind, messes this choice up. Because this isn't saying that it's guaranteed that if you study an hour extra that you'll get 15% more on the test. This is just saying that this is the general trend that this line is seeing. So it's not, it's not guaranteed. For example, we could find this student here who studied exactly two hours, and if, if we look at the st students who studied for three hours, well, there's no one exactly at three hours, but some of them, so this was, let's see, the study the student who was at two hours, you go to three hours, there's no one exactly there, but no one, there's going to be students who got better than what would be expected and students who might get a little bit worse. Notice there's points above the trend line and there's points below the trend line. So this exactly, you can't say it's guaranteed, an hour more turns into 15%. Let's try this choice. In general, studying for one extra hour was associated with a 15-point improvement in test score. That feels about right. In general, studying for 15 extra hours was associated with a one-point improvement in test score. We know that would get the slope the other way around. So that's definitely not the case. Let's check our answer, and we got it right.